Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I am Udurule Mojibola, your most wealthy shoe making made easy to talk. If you're joining this channel for the first time, I need, to, I need you to know that all we do is make shoe making easy and we also ignite our passion for creativity. So today I'm going to be teaching us how to create this braided flip flop. You don't need to stitch. I want to believe that creating this is going to be wow. Sit back and I'll be right back. Yes, I'm back. Before I move into the full video for today, I'm going to be giving us a brief review of what has been happening in our intermediate class. It's a class where we learn how to actually create patterns, how to create footwear patterns. If you're having challenges with your pattern cutting, it's a privilege for you to learn. You can see what my students has created so far and the pictures we have are what we have done. So many people have actually done theirs even without a shoe last. So there is no excuse when it comes to my classes that's why i told you what we do is make shoe making easy so let's go right into today's class so first of all you need to first of all create you know your your straps i'm using 36 centimeter by 2.5 centimeter it means my the length of my strap is 36 while the width is 2.5 now after that i'm going to be you know you know padding it with foam my foam is actually um half inch foam and i cut i half inch foam is about 1.5 1.25 centimeter rather 0 0.5 inch is equivalent to 1.25 so centimeter so that's what the thickness of my foam is but i decided to cut in one centimeter so i just place it immediately i apply the contour cement adhesive on my leather i placed it on it and i begin to actually apply my contour cement adhesive on the foam as well this is more like the same foam we use for for sleeping that's what we use to cushion it so we are not actually making use of fiber or wool air so we are making use of this particular foam so like i said the thickness is 1.25 but i cut it into in, in 0 0.5 centimeter i mean the thickness i i the width i cut for it is actually 0 0.5 centimeter but my foam itself has a thickness of 1.25 which is the same thing as half inch so i'm just now that it's dry i'm going to be folding it over it i've taught us how to actually fold our straps so i need you to see the way i'm going to be folding all of this so like i said our intermediate class has already commenced we are going to be starting another batch it's just going to be 10 students in a class i want to really monitor us and it has been back to back you know class is every day no time attached i will drop the course in the class anytime you are free for the day you go ahead and make and, and make sure you do yours and send your results back to the class i correct and you correct yourself and everybody have been learning we try to always have you know a, a call we call ourselves there's a particular day we call and then um, i give us in um, um, tips on how we can actually you know be the best when it comes to our shoe making you know business so you can see i'm just trying to fold all of that all of that so please join the waiting list join the waiting list like i said it's very important that will make me know whether you are ready or not you can just use the number on the screen to actually do that just use the number on the screen to contact me on whatsapp please whatsapp please whatsapp so you can see what we have right now so let's go into now braiding it now it's actually a braided flip-flop i've taught us how to braid but for the sake of those who are watching my channel for the first time i hope you have clicked the red button yes the subscribe button you must have done that now now i am going to actually insert a cord in between the cord will be serving as my tongue you can see the way I inserted it and I kept on weaving. So this makes your work very neat and it looks more like a mystery to whoever is looking at your feet. Except the, the person is, you know, into shoe making also. That's the only thing that will make them understand what you actually did right in there. So that will serve as your cord. So you don't have anything to worry about. You can create a cord. I've taught us how to create cord. If you don't know that, please go right into my channel and just try to set the title how to create a cord. So and you will get the tip on that. You can see how it looks like it's quite simple. You don't really need to stitch. You don't need anything. I'm sure with this 
you should be able to create even a flip-flop right at the comfort of your home. Once again, I encourage you to join the intermediate class if you're having challenges with your pattern cutting, you're having challenges on how to position your last. When you finish lasting, it's like, oh, your, your, your customers are always com complaining of fittings. They are always complaining of, oh, the soul is actually detaching from the inner soul. I will encourage you to join the waiting list. As long as I have the 10 students for the next batch, I won't be. Um, you have to join the waiting list for the next again. So, so it takes in time saves nine, like they always say. So please, I will encourage you to. I already have some people already on the waiting list, so I just have few slots more to complete it. And so I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.